In this video, we'll make a screwdriver. First, click on a primitive circle. I'm not going to be concerned with specific numbers, just proportions. I'll scale it at the end. Next, click on a sketch circle. Array this sketch circle around the primitive circle. Extrude it. And then flare one end. You can only flare it upon immediately extruding. It's easiest to flare by typing a specific number. Bring down a sphere. Size it move it into the body of the screwdriver and then eyeball it to scale. Now combine the sphere and the body that is join them permanently together. That way we can move them together. Now let's draw the other part of the body by extruding this sketch in the opposite direction. Then we'll flare the end again. Remember flaring can only be done right after the extrusion operation. Snap a primitive circle to the center. You need a primitive instead of a sketch because it will snap to the circle. And then size it. Now I'm going to extrude it in. And then hide the sketches because you can't sketch over them. I'm going to bring in another circle, snap it to the center and this will be the shank of the screwdriver. Now if all your pieces get grouped together, see how they're all highlighting? You can ungroup them up here and that will enable you to work on them separately. Now I'm going to move the shank into the body of the screwdriver a little bit so you see you can see the sketch of the end of the shank so it is inserted inside the body somewhat just like it would be in a real screwdriver now I'm going to sketch the flat head. Bring in a polyline, click on the grid, and then use the grid boxes and the inferences that pop up to make it symmetrical and neat. And click escape to get out. Now extrude it. and then snap it. First snap the flat head, then snap it to the surface you want to attach it to. And you can insert it into the shank a bit, again like a real screwdriver. Now I want to combine all the pieces together. So I'll go up to Combine, click
click on target, click on source, and click off. Now I want to measure it to see how long it is. So I click on the measure tool, then on the endpoints, and there's the info. I can see it's 221 millimeters long. I would like it to be 152 millimeters, about 6 inches. So I'll divide 152 by 221 to get a scale factor of 0.68. Click on scale, type in 0.68, and it scales automatically. So if I measure it again, you can see I'm at, well, about 150 millimeters. So there is my lovely screwdriver.